Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the weekly holiday show. I'm your host, Mr. James, next to the plant in the back room or some dis undisclosed location with a guitar behind me. Yay. Welcome to this week, this week of November 21st through November 27th. It is the weekly holiday show, fall edition, until it turns to winter. It's getting kind of cold out there. This is what some people call Thanksgiving week. But there's other holidays. Come on, we're always looking for the other holidays to celebrate, right? I am Mr. James, says like that on my little tiny face that's moving around here in the corner. Uh, and we have some things to talk about that are pretty cool. Starting off with Monday, we have Gingerbread Cookie Day. Now, yes, cookies, great, great, great cookies. Everyone loves cookies. Gingerbread came about the year 1000, a little bit before that. An Armenian monk. A monk came by, you know what a monk is, right? Somebody who probably devotes himself to a certain religious purpose and basically lives a certain life to help others, right? Yeah. Came to Europe and showed uh, some people in France how to bake gingerbread, which is basically like a sweetened cookie with ginger, ginger root, which is delicious. I love ginger. You might have tried ginger ale before. And they baked that and they made shapes with it kind of like people, right? Sometimes they made uh, certain saints or whatever they thought was important at the time. And the tradition stuck. People use gingerbread as like the cookie where you make the shapes and you make certain things with it. Uh, and so, yeah, gingerbread houses, right? All these things you make with gingerbread. Of course, I think sugar cookies kind of took that over a little bit because nowadays I don't see people making gingerbread and I love gingerbread. I drink ginger every morning. I love ginger. All right. Okay. Getting kind of excited there. Anyways, try gingerbread cookies. Uh, they're really great to decorate, make little people running, uh, make instruments, make anything, make anything you want. And, uh, you know, try them out. Because Tuesday, you're going to be trying some cranberry relish. Cranberries. Cranberries. Relish, cranberry sauce, whatever you want to call it. Uh, taking cranberries, which are a little berry you can find uh, in certain bogs or certain conditions on certain bushes, even when there's snow on them. And they are delicious if you get them wild. Buy them in the store where they are mass produced. They will probably be a little more sour, uh, but that's because they're young and didn't have time to uh, ripen fully. But delicious none the, nonetheless. If you want to make an easy recipe, you just basically chop them up, add some sugar, Maybe add a little bit of something something else, give it a little bit more spice, and just cook it. And then it cooks down to making a sauce, and you can put it on things. Uh, I think it goes back many, many, many years, many hundreds of years uh, that people use that. And of course, cranberries have probably been eaten for thousands of years. We don't even know. But I'm grateful for cranberry sauce. Do I eat turkey? No. So cranberry sauce is delicious. And uh, yeah. This week seems to be about people eating a lot of things, so we'll probably have a couple things on food anyways. Wednesday, it's espresso day. I don't have espresso with me. This is tea right now. But at one point, I loved coffee. I loved coffee so much that I kept looking for better brands of coffee. I looked for the organic. I looked for the single origin source. I looked for all of this stuff. I bought my own coffee press. I bought a pour-over method. I bought a thing to grind up fresh coffee beans. And then someone said, hey, try this. It's espresso. And I go, huh? And it's a big machine. And it takes coffee grounds that you grind up tiny, tiny, tiny like sand. And it pushes hot water through it really, really fast with a lot of pressure. You know what pressure is? Take both hands, push them together as hard as you can. That's pressure. So imagine that water pushing down the coffee grinds. Well, turns out when you do that, the coffee that comes out of it is nice and rich and it has this little layer of something on top called the crema and it is delicious. It's just like someone put cream or something in your coffee and I was like, wow, this espresso is delicious. I want espresso from now on. So I started bring, drinking espresso, bought an espresso machine and now and then I still have a little bit, but I don't have the caffeinated one. I have a decaf. 
a Swiss process decaf because there are three ways to decaffeinate coffee. One way involves some chemicals you don't want to mess with. The other way is the Swiss process with water. And the third way is with carbon dioxide, something we breathe out so it's more natural. But anyways, you can see how I got a little uh, carried away with that. Try espresso if you're old enough because you don't want to have caffeine when you're too young. But if you do like the taste of coffee, if you cook with something, you want the coffee flavor, espresso is what you want to add in it. It just it makes a smaller amount, but it's really concentrated and a lot of flavor. Because Thursday, if you if you try what you're having on Thursday this holiday, then you're definitely gonna need an espresso because it's sardines day. Yeah. So let's get this let's set up, okay? So pizza. Go to a pizza place and you want fish on your pizza. They will use something called anchovies, which are tiny little fish with a little salty brine that keeps them kind of fresh and it's it's fishy and salty. And to me, it's kind of gross. Sardines are the other salty fish people use that are tiny. And some people eat them straight out of the can. The tiny, they're tiny little fish and they take the head off of them. This is all sounding pretty gross. They put it in a can with some salt or whatever seasoning and they put, and people open them up and they grab the tail of the fish and they eat the whole thing, including the bones. Because the bones are like little tiny ones. So yeah, kind of gross. Maybe, maybe you like fish, it's okay. Sardines, uh, I guess originally uh, uh, came from the island of Sardinia. This is uh, near Italy, uh, but it kind of is a bunch of different types of tiny little fish. So it's not any specific one as a sardine. It can be a, a number of different types of fish. Basically a type of fish, this is, a, is like a type of herring. And herring, there's different types of herrings and stuff like that. But anyways, people eat them. And uh, yeah, you catch them in giant nets, and I guess people enjoy them still. I'm not a, I mean, I, I don't eat meat. I eat plants, but not this plant. But just saying, I that's why it seems weird to me. But yeah, if you want sardines, try it. If you've never tried sardines out, but you like fish, try them. That's your day, Thursday. Friday is the day of listening. Listen to someone. Ask somebody. Or a story, anything, something about their life, something you can learn from, and just sit back and listen to them. Don't talk, just listen. This is a hard thing to do in a lot of classrooms now. People want to talk, they want to tell you what's on their mind, and great, we really appreciate your opinions and everything, but we also know there's limited time and we want to make sure we listen as well. Listening skills are probably as important, maybe even more important than talking skills, right? It's good to listen because then you can see what someone else, you can hear what someone else says and you can understand and maybe change your mind about what you might say. So I think listening is amazing. You know, if I didn't listen to music, it'd be, it'd be pretty bad in my life, right? Gotta listen. Uh, but otherwise, paying attention to someone, I think that's another, another thing for this day. Pay attention to someone, care about them because Saturday, you're going to have cake together. And that is exactly why the Bitmoji that I have looks sad. Sad? Cake? Why is cake making me sad? You know why? Because I want to have cake with someone else. I don't want to enjoy anything by myself. I never enjoy anything by myself. Have it with someone else. Give a little bit to someone else. I baked a cake. Join me. Here's a slice. And they might go, oh, oh, oh. Make sure you know ahead of time what kind of cake they might like. Maybe is it gluten-free? Is it vegan? All that stuff. I'd like it. But do that for somebody. And enjoy cake day with somebody. It doesn't have to be a birthday. It doesn't have to be anything. It can be any celebration you want. It could just be like, hey, it's cake day. Here's a slice of cake. I really care about you. And then you sit back and you listen to them. You may talk about sardines and espresso. Although espresso is good with cake. It actually is to finish off, but. Okay, just combining things. Sorry, guys. And Sunday, and this is a really important day too, secondhand Sunday day, if that makes any sense. On Sunday, I guess it's Sunday after Thanksgiving. Thank Thanksgiving is this week on Thursday. People will, will want to know that. Friday is considered Black Friday where people go shopping. Uh, and Sunday, they call it secondhand. Secondhand means you have something and you re-gift it or you just give it to somebody. Kind of like a lot of the clothing I'm wearing. I think everything I'm wearing right now, uh, 
maybe I'm wrong. No, I think the pants might be on clearance, but yeah, second hand. Someone else owned it first. That's okay. It's been washed, and uh, when I'm done with it, it's going to go to someone else because I just don't throw things away, right? Regift. The guitar behind you, behind me. <laughs> behind you is there a guitar? I hope there is. Behind me, this guitar was gifted to someone. I said you can have this guitar. My father first gave it to me a long time ago. I gave it to someone else, and then they said I'm not using it, and they gifted it back to me. Second hand. I love secondhand things, especially instruments, because it, they've been used and they have a story to tell, and you can tell a new story with them. So think about this week. Give thanks to everybody. Yes, it's Thanksgiving. It's also a lot of other holidays. You can consider that. Native Americans are really important for this time, and the things that they went through is, is just heartbreaking. There's a lot of things we can think about, uh, but get together with anybody. doesn't have to be a special holiday. Share a cake with them, an espresso, a gingerbread cookie, delicious cranberry relish, and listen to them and keep on celebrating. Mm -hmm.